Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for viewing us today. We greatly appreciate your subscribers and those of you that are not subscribed. Make sure and hit that subscribe button. That way you get a notification every time we put out a new video. And if you like our videos, make sure and give us a big thumbs up. So, we have been doing the Japan crates for the past couple months. And they've been really well uh, due to COVID-19. We haven't gotten one in a little bit. We're actually waiting for three now. We still need Aprils, Mays, and Junes, which I just got an email saying they shipped it, I think it was last week, yeah, or earlier this that. week. So, I went ahead and in the meantime decided to check out a different crate, and this crate is Snack Crate. Snack Crate will go to a different country every month and ship you a bunch of goodies, snacks, treats, candies, an information pamphlet as well and I believe they even do drinks in some of the crates depending upon the uh, level of crate that you purchase just like in Japan crate so this month I don't know where they went this is our first snack crate so we're gonna check out where the snacks come from this month mm -hmm. all right ooh guys this looks fun so they've got some stickers a website telling us where we can go to learn more about the country that the snack crate items came from this month. That's an official snack crate sticker and the pamphlet saying that we are going to the Philippines for this month's snack crate. So we're going to go through and see what they have to say inside. Uh, pamphlet opens up, has a little about page, uh, it tells you the capital the date and year it was established, the population, wow, there is 103 million people within 120,000 square miles, ouch, that's a lot of people in a small space, that's like downtown Denver on top of downtown Denver on top of New York, I think, yeah, wow, all right, all right guys, so, yep, they have it laid out a lot like Japan Crate, they've got what comes in the mini, what comes in the original size, the premium, and then the drink upgrade, which I will have to see if we have the drink upgrade. I thought I paid for it. I wasn't sure, but we will have to check that out. So we're going to go through this, start off with the mini, just like we do with the Japan crate, and still we have inside this bad boy. All right. Try the mangoes. Say what? Philippine brand dried mangoes. Oh my gosh. You're going to Brand that. dried mangoes. Oh my gosh. Guys, I don't know if you know this, but I am a huge, huge, like, oh my gosh, I'll, I'll do whatever I can to have mangoes. Oh my gosh, I love mangoes. Wow, it looks like the Philippines like their cramp, cramp, uh, chips. They're crunchy snacks. Blah. Oh, I couldn't get that out. It looks like they like crunchy snacks, chocolate, and cake. What's it supposed to look like? And it should say blue, blue and it should say dried mangoes on it. Uh, okay. That one? Nope, that's something else. I didn't see it. Up, oh, up, oh, there it is, there it is. It. Ooh. It's ah! <laughs> Dried mangoes. It's in like a jerky bag. That is. You want it? I love mangoes. So that's that's awesome. What's next? Boy Bewang. Boy Bewang. Boy Bewang. Here we go. Boy Nuts. That are, are Hot we... garlic flavor for nuts. Hmm. Isn't that what that one's supposed to be? It says crispy, cr crunchy corn nuts that are doused in either lechon, or... lechon, manak, adobo, or garlic flavors. Well, we got the hot garlic flavor. Ooh. Let's just see what happens. It's got like a little, it's got a built up garlic guy on there with steam coming out of his ears, so. That should be an interesting flavor. What's next? Um, I'm probably saying this wrong, but you cake. Ubi cake. 
That one looks really good, guys. Oh my gosh. I'm not good with any other language like English and Japanese. And Japanese. She's learning. She's really good at Japanese. Um, she's getting there up there. It's, it's just a little guy. Oh, it's so little. It's a little cute uh, cake. Luscious, ooby flavor wrapped in a light, delectable sponge cake. It All looks right. good, honestly. It does. Prima toast. A buttery yet sweet, crunchy toast cracker. A staple snack in the Philippines. Wow, this is like... These things are thick! Like that thickness right there is two of these Primo Toasts. Okay, next. XO Hard Candy. Oh, you know what flavor Very, these are? Uh, a deliciously sweet Filipino favorite. This hard candy features coffee or bu butter caramel flavors. And it looks like we got all of the classic coffee flavored candies. Can't wait to try them. They look interesting. So that's everything that would come in a mini, guys. You get one, two, three, four, five items. Mm -hmm. So now let's go ahead and see what comes with the original. Um, you, Oishi, Oishi pillows. Pillow Ube. Pillows, but whatever. Light and airy Ube flavored crackers packed with Ube flavored filling. A sweet yam paradise. Ooh, yam. I don't like yams. Oh, the, sweet, you like sweet potatoes. Yeah, they're not, there's not that much of a difference. It's just a, it's, there's a difference on how they're made. And these are like a crunchy cracker filled. I'll try something. them though. Yeah, we're all Okay, time. the next one is Jack and Jill Dewberry. Chocolate covered pretzels. Oh, that looks That's what you want, <laughs> huh? That sounds good. Alrighty, and what's next? Um, Yoshi Wafu, Wafu, crispy rolled wafer stick with Ooh. a creamy chocolate Midnight. filling. Get out of there. <laughs> Silly dog. Go back upstairs. Go. Go. Silly dog. Okay. Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. You can't have any of this food. It's not for you. <laughs> these, these actually come, we sell these here in the States in a slightly thinner form and Wait, a tin. Is that yeah, they come in the Oh, I love those. But those these are, are a little so different good. with the flavor, I'm sure. So oh, I can't wait to try I'll that one. I'll have to do a piece of that one. So what's next? Sky Flakes. Light, crispy crackers with the rich, creamy filling of chocolate or sweetened condensed milk. Sounds it like, like they got love the their crackers milk. a lot. Yeah, they, they, they seem to like crunchy stuff, it looks like, guys. So, Oh, one second, I'm going to mute my phone here so it doesn't keep going off during the filming. <laughs> I already did that. Yeah, I know. I should have done it beforehand. Shut at. Okay, another Jack and Jill thing, which it says Jack and Jill Chippy. A crunchy, bite-sized corn snack flavored with either barbecue or chili and cheese. That sounds good, actually. Uh, I was just double-checking to make sure these weren't uh, created by Frito-Lay because the flavor of these... Looks just like the chili cheese Fritos that you can buy here in the States and mostly anywhere in the world. Um, yeah, they look like they're corn chips, just like Frito Lay, so we're going to have to check those out. They even have a, a comic on the back in uh, Filipino or whatever language. I think it's Filipino, so. Okay. The so next. Move these candies up here so we can get those where everybody can see them. Okay. So the next one is Lala Milky Chocolate. I love chocolate. Lala Milky Chocolate. What's it look like? Red oh, wrapper okay, okay, and it says classic uh, on ooh. it. Ooh. That is a really cool form. It's got uh, the rib design, the crisscross diamond rib design. That's, that's really cool. So that was all inside the original and the mini. So that's the mini and the original put together. Oops, forgot the sky flakes. We'll stick them over here somewhere. Okay. All right, now we're moving on to the premium box. Yep. Oishi okay. pillow chocolates. Oh, that's a big bag of food. Of crunchy, and chocolate. Crunchy chocolate pillows. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> they almost look like Crave, that one cereal that we love. I wonder if it tastes the same. I, um, that'll, that'll be interesting to yeah. try. Okay, 
The next one is Yaichi Milk Snack. Yaichi. A milk. rich and smooth milk flavored crunchy snack that is fortified with calcium. Perfect any time of the day. Okay, so basically cereal in a bag that they sell as a snack. That's like, like the second one. <laughs> That's like two of them. I, I think Philippines decided it was going to be okay to just take all the American uh, breakfast cereals and sell them as a bag of snacks, maybe. I don't know. I, mean, or I used to do that as a kid. So, I, uh, and she I'm still does it sometimes. So <laughs> she'll, she'll walk around with one of those little bowls of cereal, just pull the lid up. <laughs> I don't care what time it is, I'll eat it. Alright, what's next? Um, Pee Wee Sizzling Barbecue. A crunchy snack flavor with just the right blend of spicy barbecue and saltiness. Alright, so there is that one right there. Coated pulveron. Coated pulveron, a very crumble sweet shortbread. Crumbly sweet shortbread. Crumbly. Crumble, crumbly. I'm missing a Y. Whatever. Coated with chocolate. Oh, wow. So. It looks like when they do the snack crates, uh, these ones they don't actually buy in packages. In the smaller packages, it looks like they buy them in a the big package and just toss a couple in, which is fine. Mm -hmm. You know, they're, you're just supposed to get a taste, not a whole case of stuff, even though this case was pretty packed. Mm -hmm. So that's those right there. We'll stick those in there somewhere. And then the last one of the premium. Oh, is they sent us two of the Sky Flakes. They sent us the condensed milk and the chocolate. I'm sorry, guys. I missed that. Okay. The next one is Yoishi Sponge Crunch. A crunchy corn snack that is soaked in rich chocolate. So they like their crunchy snacks and their chocolate. Alright. So there's that one. Alright. Okay. Right. Uh, so that's the end of the premium crate. So that's everything that would come if you had a premium. Now the drink Hold upgrade. On. Oh wait, wait, no, we've got these three right here. Sorry, that's there's three more things. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. Okay. It's just so confusing with that one. Yeah, that's right a there. big blank spot on one page. Went down to the next page and started adding three more items. So let's, okay. Let's get those three so more items. the three more items. The first one is Jack and Jill, Payados chips, nacho Yattos. pizza. Nacho pizza. You never knew you needed these crunchy potato crisps smothered in nacho pizza zest. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I mean, I've had pizza potato chips. I've had nacho potato chips. I have not done the, the uh, Pringles flavor layering where I've layered nacho and pizza, so... <laughs> Let's hope their chips isn't let's, as bad as Japan's. If I'm being honest, their chips are not that good. Yeah, let's 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 see what happens. Now the next is chocolate pretzels. I think it's. I think you may have took it. Oh. Did I already take that one out? Chocolate pretzels is what it's called. Uh oh, that means I missed one back when we were. Oops. Oops. So what one did I miss when we were going through it earlier? Go back because it was the one before. It said Jack and Jill. Dewberry. Oh, oops. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here's the Jack and Jill Dewberries. Um, they're like cookies with uh, a different type filling. of berry filling, and then they also have a cream filling How in the middle. How could you mix Dewberry with pet itzels? Uh, shut up! I'm going to hit you with a cheese ring. Okay. <laughs> oh, speaking of cheese rings, that's the last item for the premium box, is the cheese ring. Yeah, these bite-sized rings are overloaded with a zesty cheese flavoring that keeps you coming back for more. How many can you stack on one finger? Yeah, we're not going to try stacking those on a finger. Okay, so next we have... It would be the drink upgrade. We have the drink... Upgrade. So we did. You did get them. Yes, Calamansi juice drink. Brand juice. Philippine brand juice. That's what they call it in the pamphlet. And it's not from concentrate. It's actually live juice. And, they oh. said this refreshing beverage features real fruit juice. We've included either tart calamansi, 
a, a Philippine lime, or four season nectar, which is a blend of mango, guava, pineapple, and orange flavors. Well, unfortunately, I would have preferred the second one, but we got calamansi, so. I have no there. idea what that is. Neither do I, and I'm. It's, they said it was a lemony flavor. Okay, okay, so now we're supposed to have the Quazo cheese crackers, cheesecake. Wait, what? Cheesecake. Yoshi pun crackers, though. Right, we don't have the Yoshi pun crackers. I don't think. The only ones we have. We don't. We don't. Instead, they gave us corn crackers. Interesting. Okay. So they gave us the sweet corn. Well, hold on, hold on. Let's look. Uh, Shrimp flavored wheat snacks that are strangely addictive and satisfyingly crunchy. So they didn't give us that one. Instead, we got the sweet golden corn. sweet corn. Still, still sounds good. Yeah, it still sounds good. And then you got the Quazo cheesecake, which I'm assuming is kind of like our pound cake made with cream cheese. It says a fluffy sponge like cake that is filled with a delicate, creamy cheese. So, yeah. That was all of All right, guys, we're back. Got some water to wash down, whatever may come out of these wonderful snack bags from Snack Crate. And we're actually going to go one by one in order of how they're listed inside the box. So, unfortunately, this wonderful Philippine brand drink will not be tried until the last item. So, I've got some water. Dawn's got her water bottle. We're set to give this stuff a shot. First thing on the list is the Philippine brand dried mangoes. mangoes. So same brand that makes the soda. Mangoes are. aren't my favorite. Too. I thought you liked mangoes a lot. They aren't oh. very good to me. But I'll still eat them. Oh my goodness. And this is resealable it looks like I think. No, nope. Unless I, nope it's not resealable. So. Mm. Better than nothing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're all stuck together. They have a light dusting of sugar on it looks like. There's one for you. I got a, a huge one. Mm. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, so Dawn finished hers while we were fixing the camera. I uh, I ran out of room on the USB on the on the, the SD USB card. SD card, whatever. Right. Oh my gosh. Mm. That was. Mm. That second one I just had right there was so much better. Mm. I'm sorry. Right. I didn't want to get stuck eating. Ah! See, they want to come to my mouth. They're jumping out the bag. You should get in my mouth. Mm. So, oh, and they're mm -hmm. even non GMO verified. Nice. Mm. I just don't really like mangoes in general. The first. Um, taste was good and all, but that's probably because the sugar and stuff, and the actual flavor. You have to get try and get to it in order to. Or you have to just like mangoes, and she doesn't. Huh. So her 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 opinion on the last one's invalid. So now we're gonna go for the Boy Bawang crispy crunchy corn nuts that corn are nuts are good that are hot garlic flavored. Um, I'm not too big on hot stuff. I've had everything up to habaneros and and uh, what's the green stuff in Japanese? Cauliflower? No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> cauliflower? No. Cauliflower no, is white. I was about to say jalapenos. No, that's not. That's a Japanese cookie. Oh my god. I know. That's why I stalled. I mean, that, I said Japanese cookie too. I mean, uh, <laughs> whatever. I wasn't even sure what you meant by Japanese. Um, the green stuff they stick with sushi. Oh, wasabi. Uh, yeah, wasabi. I even like wasabi, but I'm not sure what they mean by what hot. Let's try. Oh, they expect you to tear it, not open it like a regular bag of chips. So, okay. whatever. Oh my. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Golly! Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, wow, talk about a garlic smell. Let Hold on, let me get a couple, and you can get a couple. Okay. Wow, definitely garlicky. Yeah, it's got a big garlic smell. Not even that spicy. No, ah, there we go. It's got a little heat to it. 
No, I mean, I've had hot Cheetos that are spicier than that. Mm. <laughs> Got more after the video. What do you think? I like them. A lot. When you first open the bag, the garlic flavor seems a little overpowering. Once you Nowhere it, near. Once you throw it in your mouth, it's fine. Gotta clear it for the next. Mm. And next is the Ubi cake. Mm. This is like a two biter, so it's gonna be gone after this taste test. It almost reminds me of a of a of a of a Hispanic concha, or is that what they're called? Concha? I don't even know. Something like that. It's purple on the inside. Mm, it's a light, sweet. fluffy sponge cake packed with delicious ubi flavor. Ooh, ubi must be a really good flavor. It like falls apart in your mouth. It falls apart in my hand. Mmm. 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 It's good, but not as good as the corn nuts. I like the flavor. It's got a nice, light, sweet flavor. It's light and fluffy. Nowhere near as bad as, or as good as I thought it would be, honestly. Yeah, same. I thought it would be more of like a sweetest pound cake, and a little bit fluffier, but still as, uh, still as sweet. Mm-hmm. Well, the flavor was good. So now, we got the Prima Classic Toast. And I, I meant it, guys. These things are thick. Oh, that one's broken. <laughs> you Ain't get that, that one. Well, I get the other half of it, too. <laughs> it's got sugar on it. You can see the sugars sparkle in the light. Now if I can just get hers out. But it's it's like a it sweet like crouton. Toast. Yeah, it's like a sweet crouton with Amazing. sugar coating. Yeah, it's like a crouton. Hmm. Pretty good, but not enough flavor. I know there's a lot of sugar and all of that, but the flavor isn't as much as I'd expect from something like this. It's okay, but well, I agree with her. It's it's rather plain, but well, it's, I mean, it's okay. If someone offered it to me, I'd eat it. So. Mm -hmm. I'd, if it's a snack, I'll probably take it. Yeah. Either way. Mm. Okay, so now we have the last item which would have come in the mini box, which would have been the XO Classic Coffee Candies. So. I'm very curious about this one. I'm not a big coffee fan. I honestly despise coffee. Unless it's that Coke drink that you talked about, that one. Unless it is the old school Coke and coffee mixed drink, that one is really good. Or like a caramel frappuccino. Mm. But like a cup of coffee with creamer and sugar in it, that's... Oh that's, my gosh, it looks like, um, it looks what's like it called? Werther's. The Wish, uh, Werther's. Wish Werther's yeah, Originals. Werther's? Yeah. yeah. It's and like it, the coffee flavored Werther's Originals. It's not as big, slightly different flavor, but you can tell it was put, poured in a candy form. Mine's smaller. <laughs> yeah, yours didn't get as deep. <laughs> it looks like it got more, so here we go. It's that bitter note that coffee has has always been what turned me off. It's never been my favorite. Leave a couple for your siblings. There's Jaden. No, as even Brie probably won't like coffee flavored anything. After you chew it for a while, it becomes really mm, like a chewable. Kind of like a caramel. Yeah. Okay, so hurry up with that so we can do the next one. You're like, I need to swallow it quickly. So you ready for the next one? Yeah. These are the first item of the original box. These are the Leisha Pillows ube which are the same flavor as the ubi cake you can tell they're definitely that's one of their favorite flavors oh these are a lot different wow it's almost like a, it's a larger version so of like, the what's what's like crave. Craves cereal 
with chocolate flavor inside. But and this, different colors. But this is purple. So, I'll get you a couple. Get me a couple. Let's try these bad boys out. Wow. There's not much filling inside. You can taste the nice chocolate cream they have inside. Brilliant flavor. Nice and smooth. And you can taste the ubi flavor. It's really good actually. It's not it's not that bad at all. Yeah. I actually do like those a lot. I'll, I'll probably finish those off for, for dessert or something. And you can't have all the, the corn nuts because I like those. Next in line is the dewberries. The one I screwed up and accidentally put the chocolate pretzels for by the manufacturer Jack and Jill. Actually reminds me of a little grocery store they used to have when I was growing up well, called Jack and Jill. There's three so cookies. They gave us two flavors. You've got berries and cream and strawberries and cream. The berries on that one are blueberries. And this is strawberries. There's only three cookies per pack. It, it's like a normal cookie with filling in it. And, and then it has the fruit. The yeah, like it shows on the top, except it's much smaller in the picture. Yeah. These are actually, okay. they look decent. Mm, they smell good too. Well, this oh, one does. This. this one smells like a Pop Tart. Ready? Yeah, actually. Tastes like it too. I was about to say that. I like it. I've got the strawberry Pop Tart with no frosting. You've got the blueberry Pop Tart with no frosting. Switch. <laughs> it's got like a really gummy fruit jelly in the top. Very gummy. And it's really kind of hard to chew, actually. I mean, well, I'm sorry. Let me say that. It's not hard to chew. It's just very chewy. Mm-hmm. Right, I'm going in for the blueberry. I've never had a blueberry Pop Tart, but it does smell like a pop tart. Yeah. So, I like the flavor. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like a mini pop tart cookie, I guess you could call it. It's pretty good. It is really good, actually. And then the cookie is pretty, like, the, the top and bottom part, not the jelly or the filling. Um, Tastes that's, like the outside of a pop tart. Yeah, and it's very easy to chew. Too. Yeah, it's nice and soft. Now, mm, next is the Wishy Wafu Crispy Rolled Wafer Stick with a creamy chocolate filling. If it's anything like those, I yeah, love it. Yeah, it is. I can tell you, like, right now, unfortunately, it's we'll just like horribly split mutilated. Put it. Kind of. Or how about yeah. we pull out the part that's not broken? Which is this piece right here. Definitely like a wafer. I'll eat that part no, too. I'm <laughs> gonna eat that part. So uh, am I eating that part? We're splitting this. Okay, it just doesn't have the spiral. It does. It's just it's not, not as it's not it's as not see as look. As you've got the pattern of the spiral going one way and the actual spiral goes the opposite direction. See the line? What I mean is it doesn't have that chocolate look. Oh, oh it doesn't have the chocolate layer in the spiral. Okay, you're correct. But look at the center. The center's mm -hmm. bigger and has more chocolate in it. Oh, you lost some chocolate. I got more. Uh-huh. Mm. Mm-hmm. Exactly like I thought it would taste. Oh, wow. That's good. No! Oh. Yeah. Don't worry, there's other chocolate products that I can hijack. Yeah. I think you definitely gotta vacuum up more, Doug. Yep. Okay, so now we have the Sky Flakes. The no, white face. It's a toasty, no, it's a cracker. Mm -hmm. It's a light, crispy cracker with a creamy filling. They have the condensed milk and the chocolate flavor. Looks like a normal saltine cracker. Yeah, it looks, it literally looks like a saltine cracker. I honestly think it just doesn't have salt. Who knows? Mm. I'll find out. Mmm. Smells interesting. That Weisha Wafu, great flavor when you're eating it, but the aftertaste, oh wow. That left mm -hmm. bad aftertaste in my mouth. 
So this is one put crafter, right? Or two? It's three. Oh, three! Oh, I forgot! I didn't even look at this side yet. And it doesn't like to break along the line, so somebody's going to get a slightly smaller cracker than they're expecting. Okay, so hold on. Let me get the chocolate one unwrapped and broke. <laughs> We're breaking bread on video. It's such a beautiful sight. It, yeah, these look just like saltines. They have the same break lines and everything. Just Except they have they chocolate. They seem like or, a lower quality saltine. I wouldn't say lower quality. They taste like unleavened bread. So there's your brothers. Share. I got my chocolate. I got my sweet cream. You're eating your sweet cream first. I'll eat my sweet cream. I recognize this flavor. I don't know where from, but I do. The first taste when you take a bite, you have your taste buds, that's mm. your chocolate. You have your taste buds right on the cracker, and it's very plain. But the minute you start to chew them together and mix the flavor of the plain cracker with the, the condensed milk cream in the middle, it actually turns out to make a decent combination of flavors. That's not that bad. I'll wait for you. Mm. The mm. chocolate bar toast sandwich that I make. That's what that flavor is. Okay, well, I recognize it. I just don't know what you're talking about. Where I put the chocolate bars and make it like I do a grilled cheese. Mm, okay. I put the chocolate bar where the cheese goes. I don't think it's that, though. I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. Alright, here's the chocolate version. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm. The sweet cream, I'm sorry, the condensed milk version was sweeter. Mm-hmm. This chocolate has more cocoa than sugar in it because you can taste the chocolate part of it, but it's not that sweet. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. All right. Yes, Next sir. item after the Sky Flakes is the Jack and Jill Chippies, which I said these are probably going to taste like the Frito Lay Frito Chili Cheese flavor. Let's see what these bad boys taste like. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me smell. I can already tell you. I can already tell you. I was wrong. Mm, they I look good. Not, I just not smell anything like the chili cheese Fritos. But they do look like Fritos, one hundred percent. Yeah, they do look like them. I just don't think they're going to smell like, uh, taste like them. Completely different flavor. Mm -hmm, but they look so good. I want to eat it. Go ahead. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. I know this flavor. Uh huh. Their chips are already way better than Japan's. And they do taste like the chili cheese Fritos. <laughs> you were I didn't. I didn't think because of the smell. Because chili cheese Fritos, you can smell them. They're they're very effervescent. They have a very strong smell, but they have the same strong taste. These are the same smell, not as strong, but the exact same flavor. Mm -hmm. So good to go for like the and the chippies. Those are very good. Mm, I'm ready for the next one. Mm. Yes. Chocolate. Mm -hmm. A lot of chocolate. The classic La La Milky Chocolate Bar. So this is, and this looks like a delectable piece of chocolate. We're definitely switching between chips and chocolate. Well, technically we're just going in the order, so that's how they packed it. Yeah. Oh wow, that's 
literally pure chocolate. And it's got 12 brake lines, kind of just like a Hershey bar, just nowhere near as big. Oh wow, there's nothing crispy or anything in it at all. I thought it would. It's just pure Considering chocolate. how it feels, it almost feels like it does. Okay. It's just formed chocolate. Mm. That's why I recognize that flavor. Why? It's made with cocoa powder. Mm. It's a cocoa powder based chocolate. That's why it has that flavor. Okay. That mm -hmm. makes a lot of sense. Okay, so now we're up. That was what was left for the regular and mini crates. Or sorry, the original mini crates. Now we're to the first premium item. The cool thing about the premium items, some of them come in resealables. So here's another. Well, what if it's not a resealable? It is. Oh. Oh, I didn't read. But the last one looked resealable. The makeup uh, the, did. I felt like it, but I should have looked and read, and I would have noticed that it wasn't. But anyway, um, these are more Wishy pillows. Um, the last ones we had were Ubi flavored with chocolate in the middle. These ones are chocolate filled crackers, and it looks like the crackers are also chocolate flavored, and this is the party size, as they call it. Party size is pretty small. <laughs> Must be a small party it's over in the Philippines. <laughs> Considering how many people they have in Alberta. They must have a lot of small parties to make up one giant one to cover the whole country. Yeah. So these are the exact same size and shape as the, uh, I was going to give half of these to you, Goofy, mm -hmm. as the uh, Ubi crackers. And they call these crackers. They don't call them like... Uh, Cereal. Cereal, but they're, they're these large. are larger than K though, slightly larger. Right, I'm talking, is like that big. I'm talking about the Ubi ones compared to these ones. They're the exact same size. Yeah, I know. That's what I said. Oh. That's why I said these, as in all of the. Oh, okay. so, seal this back up. Lay it back down. You already started on them. Nowhere near the flavor of Crave, but still like cereal. These remind me of the Japanese koala candies. Kind of, but not Different texture, mm -hmm. but same flavor. Not necessarily, but okay. On the chocolate part of it. The cracker on the outside really didn't mm -hmm. have a chocolate flavor. Mm-hmm. I love those koala candies. Mm -hmm. Me too. So now we're going for the Ricci Milk Snacks. A rich and smooth milk flavored crunchy snack that is fortified with calcium, perfect any time of the day. So, I guess maybe you're supposed to mix this and this together and it's like eating Crave cereal. <laughs> okay then. We may just do that. Okay. That's interesting. When they import it, they reprint the nutritional facts in English. Mm. Okay. I think. I can't tell if that's English. That's not English? The, no, the one underneath. I don't think it, it is. Then why did they change the... Okay, I'm confused. Whatever. <clears throat> this is made by Nutri-Snacks. They put so much damn air... You know what? Because it came to Colorado, that's why these are so pumped up. <laughs> because we're at such a high altitude that that's why all the... The potato chips are like bulging to the point that you can't open them without. <laughs> well, that's what we get. Yeah. So, because that's why Frito Lay actually makes chips in the mountains so they can ship them to higher altitudes. And you not, can even hear the air. Yeah, you know, the air came out like a, like a punctured a tire. But uh, that's why Frito Lay makes their some chips here in Colorado so they can go to slightly higher altitudes but also go to lower altitudes and not have the bags pop. They actually. One of the famous stories they tell when you're in orientation for Frito-Lay is they had a truck that filled up at a lower altitude, went over the mountains and got down to the other side over in Utah, and when they did, every single bag in the boxes had popped because of the air pressure going over the mountains. So that explains it. Wow. I'm sure if we compared the altitude of the Philippines to altitude of Colorado, they're probably Big at difference. least four or 5,000 feet below us. So. Oh, you know what? These almost look like uh, uh, sugar smacks. No, no, not sugar smacks. I don't even uh, know what that is. 
the waffle, the waffle, waffle oh. cereal is what I'm thinking of. Okay. Or pops, pops. Mm hmm. The corn pops this cereal. This smells sweet for sure. Ooh, that's a different flavor. Ready? Oh, excuse me. Yes. Definitely cereal. Like, with less flavor, of course. They remind me of corn pops, but they're nowhere near as flavorful. Mm -hmm. They're light on the flavor, but they're good on sweet. Mm. Well, I know where I get my cereal from now. Wait, no flavor. Wow. Mm -hmm. I was like eating corn flakes. Mm -hmm. no. Oh, you want to try them together? Mm -hmm. I made the suggestion. She might as well. Here, let me grab one. Sandwich them. <laughs> All right, here we go. Got to be extra. Mm, I was right. That is a good combo. Mm. Mm. No more. You gotta move on with the taste test, Goofy. All right. So that was the Ricci milk flavor snacks. Definitely gotta drink some water after that because we're going to something salty. Mm. The pillows are good. Those ones anyways. Yeah, those ones are better than the uh, Ubi pillows. I still like the Ubi pillows. The flavor is better on them. It's got a smoother flavor to it. So you like those better? Comparing the two flavors. If I had to pick between a flavor and they both came in that size, I'd get the Ubi flavored ones. They seem, mm -hmm. to, they seem to have better flavor on them. I like those, the chocolate. Of course, you're, you like chocolate. Yes, I do. But you know I mean, guys? All of them are just this bloated, bag-wise. Mm -hmm. so, if you can't tell by these Yeah, three. there's three more over there. Oh, my goodness. You need help? Mm -hmm. I'm no, so going to smack you with a bag of chips and open it on your face. And then me eats all the... Yeah, you know, you'd be like a vacuum cleaner. I'll hold your feet. <laughs> like Pac-Man. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that's weird. Let me stop. They're the same shape as those. They're just different flavors. They smell like ranch, almost. Except a different type of ranch. No, they smell like, they actually smell like what they show. Smells, I can smell. It doesn't smell like barbecue, if I'm being honest. Yeah, but technically, a, a shish kebab of mushrooms, beef, and tomato is not barbecue in, in, in American culture. That is just a skewer. We already know what barbecue is here. Yeah, our barbecue is much better. So it's the same shape mm -hmm. as the Ricci uh, Crunchy Snacks. These are good. And these are called Pee Wee, but they're both made by the brand name Nutri Snack. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Nutri Snack. I did read that. For a second there, I thought I saw Nutri Smack. Interesting. I want them. They're good. Very flavorful. I like them. Way more flavorful than the milk flavor. Mm hmm. Mmm. <laughs> Well, we did just eat something sweet, so something salty is going to definitely come back and be a lot more flavorful because you're, you're salt. It doesn't matter. It's still good. All right. I'll shut up then. Next. Mm, I've been waiting for we're these. Gonna, no, we're going to split one. Okay. Last item. No, almost last item for the premium box is the coated Poveron. Uh, Choco Fron, Choco Fron branded coated pulveron. A very crumbly, sweet shortbread coated in chocolate. Mm. Wherever they get their names, must have a creative mind. Either that or it's from their culture because of what it means in, 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 in whatever yeah. that language is called in, in Philippines that they use on a regular basis. Ugh. Ooh. That's interesting. You have to break it where it's not in half. No, no, not the. Okay. I'm giving it to so you. Get a chocolate and a vanilla side. Yeah, that's what I was wanting. Oh my god! Uh, yeah, don't break it. 
Well, I found my part. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. So yeah, the inside the is chocolate. very crumbly. Mm-hmm. Uh, and powdery. And it's melting in my hand. Oh. Mm. Oh wow. Mmm. I like it. Mm-hmm. The inside makes me happy. <laughs> the way she says that, she's so funny. Mm. We're only six items away from getting to try the drink. I'm excited. I really want to try that drink. I just wanted the chocolate. Well, here comes another chocolate sponge cake. Delicious. Okay, is that also party size? Yes, it is! This is the Wishy brand Sponge mm. Crunch. A choco soaked a choco soaked snack. So what do they do? Take a chocolate a sponge and soak it in chocolate? Ooh. Let's eat sponges. Let's eat sponges. Chocolate dipped sponges. Yummy. <laughs> Let's hope they're clean. I don't think they're going to use an actual sponge. Oh my god. You know what they remind me of when I look at them? They remind me of those crunchy dog wheel treats. <laughs> That's what they look like. You can go to PetSmart. And buy a little wheel treat like that that's for dogs, it's beef flavor. Let's eat dog treats. Let's eat dog <laughs> treats. two for you. <laughs> Definitely smell like, like your chocolate? type of chocolate. It's almost like crispy wafers, almost, is what it, what it seems like, texture-wise. Or rice. Mm, it does it. not taste anything like it smells. Oh, wow. Mm. Well, their new reputation is do not trust the smell, trust their taste. Yeah, I would have to admit that's probably the best way to describe some of the Weishi products. The first initial smell was nowhere near the flavor you get. It's very blunt. Yeah. Oh, wow. I like those. Mm. Me happy. It's a party size. <laughs> mm. Okay. I'm trying to think what flavor that reminds me of, though. There's like a. I don't know. <laughs> Alright. Your wrench. But I don't want to get rid of the flavor. Next is the Jack and Jill brand Piatos. Nacho pizza. Um, we'll see. I'm still concerned about this one because I've had nachos before play on a chip. I've had pizza chips. I've never had nacho pizza chips. It smells. It smells a lot like uh, Pringles uh, pizza chips. They look cool. Yeah, they're, they're I like nice how crispy they look. Yep, they do look a lot like. They uh, definitely smell flavorful. They also smell like Pringles. That's what I said. Oh. I love how just thin they are. Mm -hmm. Not a bad flavor. They could add more flavor. Um. On one of the parts, I forgot. I don't know what part it is, but one of the parts they need to add more flavor on. You wonder why it tastes like Pringles? Because hmm. they're made with the same product. Pringles uses dehydrated potatoes. That's what these are. Mm. But one of the flavors is overpowering to the other. Yeah, definitely. The pizza flavor seems to be overpowering the nacho flavor. It seems mm, like. Okay. They either need to lower it or, which I wouldn't recommend. Increase the nacho flavor. Mm hmm. Mm. That flavor is good. It's just could use one of the side. You could use a hint of, 
you know, they could add a little more cheese flavor, maybe a little bit of jalapeno flavor, something. Just give it that extra. So it's not super cheesy. Yeah, it's, it's super pizza-y is what it tastes like. Mm. Okay. I think we're going to understand what these taste like. This is another Jack and Jill product. Oh my gosh, it's like pokey sticks or pokey sticks, however you say it. Yeah, pokey sticks, yeah. They look like pokey sticks from Japan and they are by Jack and Jill, same brand. That That's an them. easy open. Probably because it's another hole. Except they're completely coated. There's no uncoated part. And, oh, and they're shorter, but have a lot of chocolate. Or they're just thicker. Mm -hmm, they are. They are. Mm. Use your teeth. Too bad. I'm going to do what I want. <laughs> <laughs> and what I want to do is grab scissors. My wrist there, is I got my knife right here. Scissors. Scissors. Specifically, safety scissors. Do, 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 do. I just do, threw the scissors do, on the ground. I guess falling on my bike yesterday just obliterated my wrist. Mm. Kit Kat bar. Break me off a piece of that chocolate pretzel. <laughs> it tastes like pokey sticks. Not bad. You're making a mess. I'm the one cleaning it up. Yeah, true. Just don't like start throwing stuff across the the, the living room. That wouldn't be pleasant. True. St Ooh, that's a cool character on the back. Mm-hmm. Did you look at the front? I like the girl character better. Mm -hmm. She seems cool. The guy character just looks like he's trying to play Twister. You know, red hand, blue, right, uh, right hand. Green and <laughs> oh, the girl. <coughs> Let us know down below in the comments which one you liked better. The guy or the girl. And if you agree with me, if the guy looks like he's playing Twister on the front of the chip bag, let me know. I'm not gonna pop it that's a bad idea. Yeah, I don't even know I mean Gosh, for them not to have popped on the way over with how bloated they are, mm -hmm. they, I mean, they have to have sealed these things quite a bit. Okay, here, let's listen for that satisfying s Put it up to the mic first. Oh, here, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> it made the sound all right. That's what happens when you bring chip bags to the Rocky Mountains. They bloat and the air pressure builds. It smells like mac and cheese. My turn. Smell that. Smells like the mac and cheese powder. Oh, they're so little. They're like tiny Cheetos in a ring. Yeah, and they say on the bag, see how many, see how many uh, rings you can stick on your finger? Uh, you've got better be a kid to use these. I couldn't even fit more than like two of them. Would you stop? I, I couldn't fit more three. than two because they're not very big. My knuckles are too big for them. Oh, man, they smell like the cheese powder that comes in Kraft Mac and Cheese. Let's try these. I'm excited to try these now. Yeah, they only fit on three. Ready? Mm-hmm. Mmm, that's very sweet. Considering it's a cheesy chip, it's really sweet. Mmm. Makes me happy. Tastes like Cheeto Puffs, but with a lot. Well, it's sweet. sweeter flavor. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely a sweeter flavor. It's like we're gonna steal America's idea, except we're gonna turn it into a ring and add more sweetness. Yeah. We're gonna make it our idea. Mm. They're good. I like them. Nope. No hate at all, but. Mm -hmm. it's, it's it smells like the Kraft Mac and Cheese powder. Tastes like the Cheeto Puffs with a little bit of sweetness. Okay, 
So now there's a small discrepancy in this run, uh, in this bundle today. See, we were supposed to get the Weisha, Weishi Prawn Crackers, but instead we got the Regent Golden Sweet Corn Puffs or balls or I don't know. They're they're a, a, a poof product. Kind they of might have ran out. Because they're made by the same. Uh, they were made by the company that did the uh, the uh, cheese rings, which is also made by Regent. Most of this is coming from one company. No, you've got Nutri Snack, Weishi, Jack and Jill, Regent, and Jack and Jill seem to be the majority. Oh, and uh, Philippine brand. We seem to be the ones that. Uh, Seems to be the ones that are doing the majority of it. So, <clears throat> let it, let's, hey Jake, want to come try a couple of these? Yeah. They're yummy. Mm -hmm. There we go again with the, the air release on these bags. Whoa! Mm -hmm. That smells like sweet corn. Oh my gosh. Ooh, wow, they look very yellow. They don't smell them. It smells just like sweet corn. Yeah, definitely. Alright. They yeah. are as I'm yellow as it, too. Have a seat, buddy. Here, Jaden. Sweet corn puffs. Midnight, go right down. Mm. Lay down. Sit. Go right down. Over there. Midnight. Go over <laughs> there, buddy. No. Midnight. Go over there. He smells food. He's like, oh, I'm Come interested. Mm. Oh, wow. That tastes just like I pulled sweet corn out of a can. Oh, wow. Not my favorite, considering the smell overwhelmed my nose. <laughs> That's like the second best chip we've had today. I mm. just don't like the idea of turning a veggie into a chip. Yeah. What? Can, we, can I try one of those, please? Yeah, um, go ahead. You can have that one. Hold on. Before you do that, that's a long-lasting snack. Try some of these other ones. So these are the hot garlic-flavored corn nuts. Those are delicious. They're not, they're not very spicy at all. They're very delicious. Mm. I promise. Mm. But the rest of us are apparently bad. Mm. All right. Now, it's like Fritos. No, it tastes like corn nuts. I love corn nuts. These taste like Fritos. They're delicious, I promise. We're just going out of order now because Jaden joined the party. Good thing we have some things that are party sized. <laughs> That's my line. I said it first. All right, so now our last item before we get to the drink is the Regent Quazo Cheesecake. Mm -hmm. mm. Man, those garlic corn nuts mm -hmm. are getting to my taste buds. Mm -hmm. I like the sweet corn. Mm. Mm. All right, guys. So now we have the Regent Quazo Cheese. Cake. Smells just like a regular pound cake or a uh, like a cheese Danish cake, something you would get at your local convenience store. That's cheese flavored. I think uh, Bon Appetit makes one. So break off a piece for Don. Mm -hmm. Don't do it yet. Don't do it yet. Mm, I'm smelling it. <clears throat> I have to smell it before I do anything. Oh yeah, it smells a lot like it. Mm. Okay, pop her in. Mm. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Almost like cornbread, but different. Mm -mm. With this texture, kind of. Oh. Oh, oh. Mm. Yeah, it was something in mm. the back of my mouth that made it taste different. Mm. Oh my god. It's like the cake, the the ube cake, whatever you want to call it. It has the outside normal, and then the like powdery inside. 
I didn't have the powdery inside. I had nothing like it. You mean this one? Mm mm. Oh, the ube? Mm -hmm. The ube didn't have a powdery inside. It just had a smooth texture. Not actual. Mm -hmm. I Not mean, actual it breaks powder. apart. Well, of course, it's a pound cake. Pound cake always breaks apart. So that's a pound cake. It's a type of yeah, kind okay. of. Okay. Mm -hmm. So here's some of the stickers. Here's some of the stickers they sent us, guys. There's a normal snack crate sticker. Some Philippine snack grate stickers. I'm probably just going to save those. And then the... Uh, uh, some things, I guess, uh, you can go and you can buy specifically from the Philippines if you want. What was in that stat right there? But don't do it didn't talk you get the drink. Yeah. So that's all the individual items. Now comes the drink. The Philippine brand juice. It's a refreshing beverage, features real fruit juice. It included either tart, calamansi, a Philippine lime, or four seasons, nectar, which is a blend of mango, guava, pineapple, and orange flavors. We've got the Philippine lime to see whether or not it leaves a good or bad taste in our mouth. Mm. The flavors are let's just see if, Let's see. Yes, it does say chill, shake, and serve. Consume within four hours of opening. It's cold enough down here with the AC. We should be okay. Give it a good shake so it's well mixed. Well, that's nice. I think it had a little too much air in it. I think the Philippine lime tastes like grapefruit. Wow, it's got a bite to it. Mmm, so that was sweet. Wait. It's actually not bad. <clears throat> There's some for Jaden. I took two sips. Literally sips. I just took one big one. Yeah, I could hear. <laughs> <laughs> well, remember, you get the Japan crate and all the spoils afterwards because it's yours. The snack crate is mine. Unless, unless they... And plus there's another one on, upstairs on the couch. What? What? Another what? Japan crate? Mm-mm. They, we got a new snack crate today? Mm -hmm. What? Wow. Another video. Looks like we'll be doing another video here in a couple hours after we wear <laughs> out, work off what we... What we Are you had. serious? Wait, I gotta go see if this is true. It I took me a while to do this video because of COVID and the kids' school and everything else, so... You actually share... What couch? Um, the tan one. Wow, uh, I'm going to be full by the time the day's over. I'm already partially full. Go ahead, take it if you want, since you had some drink. All right, guys, that's uh, that's our review mm -hmm. of the Philippine Snack Crate. And oh, that's a coffee candy, by the way. Mm -hmm. You're wondering, what's that flavor, right? Mm -hmm. It's coffee flavored. He wasn't lying, but it's far less packed. Huh. I wonder why. Let me see. Oh, those chips. oh my god. It weighs just as much. <laughs> so it probably has uh, just as much stuff in it. So it should have been the premium crate. <clears throat> you can have what's in there. You can have whatever you want that's left on the table. <laughs> not, not what's left. But you can have some. Yeah, go ahead and have one of those. There's two in there. So anyway, guys. <sighs> uh, Philippines, thank you for making some decent edible items and thank you snack crate for sending these to me thanks for not having uh, terrible chips yeah thank you uh snack crate does not sponsor this video they did not pay me to do this i paid with my hard-earned money at my job to buy the snack crate myself and as you can tell i just got my next month snack crate next video they're Which doing better be than japan video. crate yeah but they also are shipping from all over the world yeah and not just from japan so yeah that reminds me, I got an email to Pancrete. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you like the video, give us a like. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon. Take it away, Cosmo. <laughs>